Yeah, like Dave said, my, my beautiful protege, I guess I'm the beautiful mentor he was talking about. No man has ever called me beautiful before, Dave. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, just wanted to thank you guys for coming out. This is a very special evening. And I want to take a couple minutes and talk about uh, my experience with, with Dave over the last year. You know, when I first met Dave um, at our first meeting, I thought, here's this passionate, energetic, young kid with uh, a lot of drive but no direction. And over the last year, not a whole lot has changed. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, but I had to do that. <laughs> Um, no, Dave, um, I learned real quickly that if I wasn't ready for Dave, if I wasn't prayed up, and if I wasn't spiritually ready for Dave in our meetings, this kid was going to run right over me. Um, I didn't want to be the first mentor whose protege called Garrett and uh, was looking for a replacement mentor because <laughs> his was lame. So I was, at, at one point I found myself actually throwing more books at Dave just to keep him off me for a little while. The kid is a sponge. Um, Dave has an amazing heart for the Lord, and I, I got to watch him grow so much. Um, as he mentioned, we did take a missions trip to Honduras together. Um, I got to see him pour out everything that he had uh, to these kids who have never sat on a swing before. Um, Dave, uh, Dave has, his, the way that he loves his fiance Nicole, wherever she is, uh, right now we're in, in premarital counseling together, uh, not Dave and I. Um, <laughs> Because I do have the honor of marrying, marrying them, um, which is, thanks for that. But um, in premarital counseling, it almost makes me sometimes feel a little uncomfortable how much this, this guy just like dodes on his wife. I'm like, I, I want to make fun of him. And then I back up and go, wait, no, that's, that's right. I should do that. <laughs> I need to learn from him. Um, I have learned so much, Dave, I've learned so much from you over this last year, man. Your, your heart and your passion, the way this kid has just gone after the Lord, his his knowledge of the word of God and his knowledge of the Lord has just increased so much. And I've seen this happen. I've stu he studies the Bible like a theologian. It's unbelievable. He comes back to me and he's correcting me. We're having breakfast and he's correcting me going, actually, Paul didn't write that. Uh, I, I think that was Luke who wrote that. I'm like, yeah, no, I was just testing you, Dave. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Um, but not just his knowledge of the word, his intimacy with God has just been so inspiring to me. You know, we've met a few times um, early, 6 o'clock, Friday mornings. We've come here, just the two of us, and worship, put some worship music on, and just went after the Lord to, and sought to be in his presence. And, you know, he's journaling, and we're talking about what's going on in our lives. And this kid has just challenged me to grow in so many different ways. And, you know, I was talking with Pastor Jeremy, and he's also plugged in right now into Unite, which is our youth ministry here at Victory Church. Um, and he's a small group leader for high school boys. And Pastor Jeremy said this to me the other day. He said, the raw culture, he said, oh man, Dave Freeland, he said, the raw culture that Dave has cultivated in his small group of high school boys is unbelievable. Here's what I know. The word tells us that the flesh counts for nothing. It's the spirit that draws us. Dave has not cultivated this relationship with these high school boys because he's an excellent communicator with teenagers. Because, let's face it, teenagers just text anyway. <laughs> Dave has cultivated this relationship with these high school boys because he goes after Christ first. Because he seeks Christ's face first in everything he does. He's a very, very talented young man. And he can do a lot on his own. He has many gifts and many abilities, but I have watched this man not want to do a thing without his Savior. And that is unbelievable to see. Very inspiring. Dave, I, I can honestly tell you, brother, that I'm not sure who mentored who over this last year. And I, I could stand up here for a long time. Garrett said I only have two hours. I could stand up here for a long time and talk about Dave and how much he's challenged me and how much that I've grown because of him. You know, and when we did meet first, he our first meeting, he was talking a lot about these men in his life who, he has a very strong family around him, and he was talking about all these men in his life and what they do and what they do. And I challenged him, I said, Dave, I said, let's focus less on what you feel that God wants you to do, and let's focus more on who God wants you to be. And that man took those words and threw them right back in my face all year long. And I'm so glad he did, because my relationship with the Lord has grown 
because of you, Dave. And I appreciate that, buddy. So I love you, man. That's all I got.